Hello everyone, Josh here. I know I didn't post anything for a week. Um, I really had some unexpected um, developments happen. I had to be kind of reconfiguring my life system and redesigning how I could get a better workflow between my doing my psychology degree and getting my grades up. Um, posting these videos here and of course embarking on an entrepreneurial journey as well um, but it begs to to show that you know things happen in life that are beyond our control and it is our response to these these changes that really empowers us to really keep focused on the things that matter in life and in this video, I will be discussing how to get better at adapting to change. So for many of us, adapting to change could be quite a difficult task. Um, when the change is actually upon us, there's some things that are problematic. The main thing being how we respond. Some of us, we freeze like an antelope in headlights. Just don't freeze when you see her. What are you talking about? I never freeze. Hi. Did he freeze? Like an antelope in headlights. <laughs> are you finished? Some of us, we just are completely dismissive and just don't want to have anything to deal with it. Like, no, God! No, God, please, no! 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 And some of us, we just completely just surrender. Yeah. And here's the next thing. The problem that we really face a lot of the times is how we don't know the factors that cause us to be resistant to change. The reality is when something is upon us, we either can go over it, go under it, go around it, go through it, pick it up and pelt it out the way, and or we could just be resistant to accepting that change so what causes people to be resistant to that change instead of adapting to it i'll talk about that right now so the first thing is is that the current standard of security and comfort and routine that is offered by our environment that we have grown accustomed to people do not want to give that up people want to maintain that status quo want to maintain um, the patterns that is so easy to conform to. It's like walking through a, a pathway and you get a new, I don't know, a boulder from a landslide come and obstructs your path. You don't want to have to go around it and have to cut a new path. Pathways have been meant to be, you know, the safest route and the shortcuts and the most easily form of access to get into our goals and when obstacles come and obstacles may not be something physical it could be something mental it could be any thing that slows the progress of you moving forward once that disrupts the systems the the patterns the way how people um, behave in a particular routine we will not want to adapt to that anytime soon now, the second thing is, is that we have grown more efficient to handle um, problems that we are accustomed to. We have gotten this, over time we, we get this sense of authority on knowing, all right, this is a problem always comes up with this individual, some issue in the office, you know, the light bulb is going to blow, things that we expect. But when it's something that is not a part of a design flow in your life or in your workplace or amongst your friends and family knowing how people respond to situations when something is completely out of the 
norm, a real outlier, so to speak. It makes us feel like we are back at square one, feeling that sense of vulnerability like a child and not having a sense of what makes sense in the world. And we, as adults, don't like to feel this way. We don't like to be this, um, you know, newborn calf that's vulnerable to, you know, the predators of, of change. And we tend to be resistant of putting ourselves in these positions or accepting that new reality, not when we have that sense of authority over things that we have built, things that we have managed, things that we have nurtured from birth. And it is quite disrupting to the harmony that resides in our mind. And in that um, lack of harmony, we have this element of having, you know, one more thing to think about. We have grown accustomed to the capacity of worrying just about five or 10 things in our lives, things that we can easily juggle. We have grown accustomed to know, you know, you're dealing with home life, you're dealing with um, schoolwork, but then when you have these other compounding effects, it's things that consume and consume our thoughts and take away from the other things that we want to engage in that are pleasurable and even, you know, satisfying to the point where it is our only reprieve from the suffering that we have to deal with in life. So what exactly can we do to be better at adapting to change? I have found uh, five things that I have used in my life that you could probably implement and see how it works for you. Now, the first thing I would say is to find humor in the situation. Finding humor um, helps your mind get, you know, at ease, be much more relaxed, and you start to reframe the situation in a different light. Obviously, this does not apply to every situation. There are some very grave and painful events that we have to endure that there's nothing, it's not a laughing matter. And But I'm talking about the things that we can be able to adapt. Those things when you, when you, when you kind of joke about it, you'll be like, all right, you know, it ain't so bad. When you get that in immediate shift of your um, thoughts into a state of happiness, what that does, it's, it helps you focus on the possibility of things that can happen and then you are going to direct all your resources to address that now when you when you have done giving yourself that you know humorous take on it you would want to shift your thoughts on from being in focusing on your emotions how the change makes you feel and shift your thoughts on to what can be done spending less time on being sad angry disappointed is time not spent on finding results solutions um, possible assistance from people when you shift your mind as quickly as possible to where it needs to be you'll get your results faster and you will be able to get into the flow of the new changing environment which leads me to my third point. Focus on your value and your worthiness of the situation. When something comes up in an office setting or it comes up in you know, your, your interactions with people, it allows focusing on your value, allows you to identify your strengths and what you can bring to the table. When you see your readiness and other people see a readiness to adapt to the change, it brings the best out of them as well. Now, focusing on your value, what you are doing is making sure that you are trying to be ahead of the curve, so to speak, as much as possible. Diving deeply into the new elements of change, the new change in environment, it, uh, it brings out uh, a kind of awareness of 
what you have ready and available. And when you keep doing this on a regular basis, you can start to preempt expected changes and prepare for them by willfully engaging in conversations with yourself, with other people. You will be able to also sell yourself as the go-to person to adapt to that situation whereby people are not going to put you to the side and leave you in the past and they're going to keep moving forward. When you present what you have to bring to the table, you are going to be considered first and foremost. And you want to be relevant when novel things come about because if you didn't adapt to a change in the past, why would you be considered to adapt to this new change at present or in the future? And it could work to your advantage that way because things might come up that might benefit you. And if you're not ready to take advantage of situations, people would not consider you, even if it would be to your specific benefit. So the fourth thing is stop expecting stability. Nothing is permanent in life except death and debt. <laughs> but what we should be focusing on is that today, tomorrow, whatever you were expecting to happen may not happen. You were expecting, I mean, a perfect example. Just yesterday, Sunday, everyone was expecting to have a simple chill day and then an earthquake happened. Don't expect the stability of the Earth's rotation to keep you level and keep you stable for all your days. The same way that will always occur it's the same way where things, everything else in life can come and shift your stability in life. You want to understand and accept that reality just like your death, changes will come. So the fifth thing that I personally have learned to get in better at adapting to change is to put yourself in a position where you can be agile and you're ready to adapt to possible changes. You want to be, you don't want to lock yourself in a corner where you only have a certain degree of movement. You want to be at the center of things where you have 360 degrees of movement, if you can visualize what I'm saying here. Um, the way to do that is to expose yourself to new information all the time so that you're always ready to learn, ready to understand what might be coming and it might be a new boss understanding what they want out of people and prepare your, yourself to be able to assist that leader, especially if you are lacking certain traits and they may need that for that new um, kind of interaction in your department or wherever. If it's school, understanding that um, there's a change in, in sub in the way how subjects are coming as well that you know you have to double up or triple up on skills that you don't have before it might be public communication and all that thing so <clears throat> putting yourself in that position where you can roll with the punches so to speak is exactly the kind of sweet spot that you would really want to give yourself that advantage so that when changes come, it's going to be second nature. So in light of all of these things, I, I hope that you can see some value in being able to be mobile enough to adapt to things. And it just shows how even me just doing this simple video and having to balance everything else that is beyond the lens. Um, it's been a journey for me to understand this medium properly and knowing how to implement and integrate it into other elements of my life. And, you know, I would be open to having conversations on some other things that I may have overlooked. So feel free to leave a comment below. And if you like this video, you can go ahead and click the like button. And if you're a new viewer here, Feel free to subscribe. I will have more content coming up 
because I am adapting to this change of knowing how to manage my time so that I can produce the content with quality and with consistency. And I hope this has been an enjoyable ex little experience for you. And I hope it will help you see your way to getting better at adapting to change. My name is Joshua Caso, and I thank you for watching and I will talk to you in the next one.